Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome and happy new year to those of you who are enjoying the new year, even though it's only a few days in. Happy new year to you all, and I'm coming at you guys with a new turtle program, or um, it's actually an updated turtle program. And uh, in my last video, oh, I am sorry for the frame rate. It is not, um, I'm having a little difficulties with getting a stable frame rate, but this is enough to illustrate the point. Uh, but Oh, uh, first thing actually is um, let me show how to um, terminate a uh, what you might call a an endless program. I, uh, last time I said that you can only terminate an endless program by exiting the world. That's not true. Um, I actually just found out how to stop a endless program. So if I just go ahead and just do this, so here's a program that'll just make him spin left endlessly, and he won't stop until I tell him to. But if you hold Control T for three seconds, it terminates the program, and then he's done. So there you go. That's how you do that. And let's go ahead and remove dance. And so the update to the program is I updated the mining program. And the changes I've made, uh, the very most important change is that you can change the direction that you can go. So if you want him to go left, you can specify left. If you want him to go right, you can specify left, uh, right. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm working on, and you will have the code if you download the program in the description. Um, there is a program, uh, I think it's in here somewhere. Um, oh no, this is old code. Okay, um, well, I guess I, I rewrote, uh, I'm writing the next part, portion, uh, the next portion of the code I'm writing is a portion of code that will make the tunnel Instead of one wide, it'll make it two wide because having it as one wide is kind of cramped. So I'm going to have it uh, dig out like all of these blocks. So, for example, it'll look something like this between the two chests. So now I can. So now I've added a new parameter for direction. Uh, as you can see, it's now as a local direct to string args2. So it'll take a second argument and it will. Uh, tell you the direction or say the direction that you want it to go. So let me go ahead and exit out of here. So to call this program, all you do is you type mine or whatever you saved the program's name under. And then you say how far you want it to go. 100 seems to be the magic number. So I do 100 and then I want it to go left since I've already dug to the right. So I'll tell it to go left and bam, it's going to start going. And as you can see, here you go. It's going to go to the left and once it's, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and let's see if this, uh, this is, I've, I've, ha I've hit a lava fall as you can see and, oh, that's not cool. Um, I've hit a lava fall and I haven't been able to follow the, the turtle all the way through. So hopefully, I think I just went right past it. Nope, I did not. So let's see if I can stop myself from burning. There you go. So let's go ahead and, um, I'll show you guys what happens when he gets to the end of these tunnels. All right, so you can see he got to the end of his tunnel and he turned to the left and now he's going to keep going all the way down to the end of the tunnel. And actually, while I'm here, I could use this for some diamonds. So let's go ahead and let's mine this again. I'm sorry if the frame rate is bothering you. Uh, I promise to try to have it fixed uh, for the next uh, Feed the Beast thing that I do. Uh, this was just a one. I wanted to get this update out and I also wanted to wish everyone a happy new year and we'll go ahead and we'll come back when he gets to the end of his tunnel and you'll see that he goes to the left all right so he's at the end of his run he's gonna come right here to this is the 100th block coming this way so he's gonna come here he's gonna dig a hole in the wall put his chest start emptying out his contents and once he's done emptying out all of his contents he's gonna move over to the right he's gonna turn to his right and then keep going and he's going to rinse and repeat until he runs out of chess. And, or unless he, uh, the, term, the program terminates from either you stopping him or the world's unloading and all that stuff. And um, this is just a quick demonstration. I kind of wanted to show how awesome this program is. That I'm, not, I'm trying, not, not for bragging rights, but just to just show how much it can do for you. Um, all this I'm walking through right now was mined by the turtle. And I did none of this. So I didn't have to do any of this work. Um, all I do is just go to these chests and see the contents of them, and it's 
really amazing. I found at least every time I come down here, I come down here about every 10, 15 minutes, I find um, at least one vein of diamonds, and then I come with my fortune pick, and I get around 13. And for some reason, it's been 13 for like the past four in a row. But I go down that. This is all mined by the turtle, all these uh, tunnels right here. If I come over here, all this, except for that back area where the uh, all this weird patterns and stuff is, I did that by hand. Uh, all these tunnels to my right, though, were mined by a turtle. So all of this, um, all these chests back there, there's, yeah, there's hidden chests back there. Um, all the stuff over here, um, this was mined by a turtle. All of this was done for me. And then is actually, I have one more area to show off. And all of this was done within about, uh, probably about three to four hours total time. Um, if you just let your program, if you just like run the program, leave your computer on overnight and you just let it go, the, the turtle will definitely run out of chests by the time you wake up. I'm filtering out all of my cobblestone and stuff for it to get recycled uh, through this way, which is uh, going to be the next video. I'm going to be talking about how to uh, make an infinite scrap machine. But um, all of this to my left was mined by a turtle. Each one of these is 100 blocks deep. So if I can keep going, it goes pretty far. It goes up to about here is where it ended. I unloaded the world, or I loaded the world here, and this is where he stopped. So this this program will get a lot done for you. You won't really have to do much, and it doesn't cost nearly as much as a quarry does. And this will skip having to mine through how like 50 layers of dirt and 50 layers of uh, stone, so you can like ditch all the cobble and so it, this, this will definitely speed up the process of finding diamonds for you. So if you really need some quick diamonds, this is probably the, the one of the fastest ways that you can go. I'm not going to say it's the fastest, but it's probably one of the fastest ways to go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if this program has helped you, you can download it in the description. And I don't know if you guys need anything else, but... Uh, if you need an update to the program, uh, I'm going to have one more update for this program coming out soon before I'll be throwing it away. Uh, my next program that I'm probably going to be working on is some kind of farming program. So if you're running out of food, um, I'll probably have some kind of auto wheat farming uh, turtle that will do stuff for me. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a rating. And if you'd like to, please subscribe. I'll have more of these coming soon. And I'll catch you guys later.